This will blow your mind. This is the Ennis Brown house. Starting to get there. There's actually a Frank Lloyd Wright house. Uh, Frank Lloyd Wright designed and built, and it was based off of a Mayan temple. They used it originally for the house on Haunted Hill. That was kind of the first time that it had really been used in a movie, but it's also been used in Black Rain, it's been in Karate Kid 3, it's been in, um, what else? Uh, Day of the Locust, it was in, um, it's been in commercials, music videos, it's been just used in a ton of things, and they said that like once the original House on Haunted Hill was came out, they kind of just let this place go into disrepair for a while, and people would come and just hurl bottles and different things at it, but uh, this is the kind of the view from up here. They don't even really do private tours here anymore. Um, you can kind of see through here, there's the entrance to the house right there. But yeah, this was, uh, I mean, I'm a huge Vincent Price fan. If you guys haven't been following very long or you don't know me very well, uh, Vincent Price is one of my biggest inspirations for just life. If you read his biography that his daughter wrote, he was just really an amazing person. But yeah, this is the Frank Lloyd Wright Ennis Brown House, also known as the House on Haunted Hill House. I wish they would, the, I mean the house takes up a good portion of the entire block because as I was coming up I tried to film it and they don't take care of the uh, the shrubbery and stuff out front for most of it so it's pretty much pointless you couldn't really get a view of most of the house but this if you take away these trees this is pretty much the view that they start House on Haunted Hill with by William Castle. Pretty effing cool, isn't it? Plus, I love Day of the Locust. I'm a huge fan of the Karate Kid movies and history. I mean, I think that they still do uh, rent this out for uh, filming, obviously, and I believe they used to allow tours. If you go online, you look on YouTube, you can find kind of a virtual tour of the inside. The inside looks pretty much like the outside. Everything's very mosaic like that, like the Mayan tiles or the Mayan bricks. Doesn't look like it would be a comfortably ter or a, a comfortable house, but uh, definitely beautiful and historic and unlike anything else give you one last rolling tour once we get to the shrubbery I'll end it for you the house on haunted hill